Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my channel and today's video where we're going to be doing something a little bit different. With everything going on right now, I decided why don't I just make a chill video where I just talk to you guys and we plan my island for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So New Horizons comes out next Friday or this Friday as this video is going up. So we have less than a week to go until this comes out. I'm so excited. I know a couple of you guys have asked if I'm gonna be doing a let's play on this. I haven't decided. I think I probably will though because I miss doing games that aren't The Sims on my channel. Animal Crossing has always been one of my favourites. I've not stopped talking about it for the last few months and I definitely want to stream some of it as well. So I'm thinking of streaming over on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash English Simmer and also doing some videos here to like keep you guys updated on my island and stuff like that. And also if you are a content creator or you want to look into starting an Animal Crossing Let's Play or anything like that, that, you're gonna need a normal switch and you can check out the sponsor of this video which are Elgato. I have a link in my description as always. They sell a range of capture cards which you can use with your switch and you can record all of your gameplay using their capture cards. So definitely go check out that link in my description if you want to get to know capture cards, if you need to read some information and like how to get Get started on capturing Animal Crossing footage, you are going to need something that captures console, which Elgato capture cards do. So big thank you to Elgato for sponsoring this video. So this is my island so far. This is based off an island that was actually seen in the Nintendo Direct. So I'm hoping that they were like the final choices because when you arrive, it's like, choose your island. And this was actually one of the designs. I absolutely love this island. It has like a little heart river pond up here and it's got like three waterfalls and this is my favorite one so I decided to recreate it in this. I will leave a link to this happy island designer in the description down below as well in case you guys want to go check it out. So I've already added the, I forgot what they're called, but the amenities like basically where Tom Nook stays. So this is basically the new town center, I think, for New Horizons. I haven't seen all the videos about New Horizons because I don't want to completely spoil it for myself. So I still don't know like a fair amount of information. I've just kind of been like keeping my hands and eyes away from that content because I want to explore the island. I think this is the airport. I placed the airport down here. It might not be the airport, but on the map it looked to be. So I placed it here if it's not then that's fine I mean I'm not really fussed where my airport is although it's kind of annoying because like I wanted to keep like the beached areas like really tropical but who knows um so basically we have the outline of the island I'm fairly sure this is how it's gonna start I think think you can move this but I don't know in the original it was like over here but I kind of like it up in this little cranny up here so that's where I put it hopefully you can move it and there's also a little pier down here but I think I want my house up in this area because it's like on the highest cliff although I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach there straight away because these will be like cliff faces and I'll need like the ladder to get up there so I'm gonna put my I'm gonna use this as my house um I kind of want to live near the pond and I also want to like be able to see the sea from wherever I live and I think like just having a little pond outside my house will be super cute and I can have like a little garden because we can obviously place objects in the world and it's just going to be adorable and then I also I don't know if it places the lighthouse automatically but I kind of want like the lighthouse to be in this area as well because I weirdly have a love for lighthouses. I basically grew up, we went on summer holidays every year to Wales and where we go there's an island with a little lighthouse on it and we've never actually traveled over there like I've seen it from boat and stuff like that but I've never actually been on the island but I just love watching the lighthouse. It's like so calming to just like sit 
and watch it. So I want to be close to the lighthouse, not like Life is Strange. I don't want that lighthouse coming down on me. Um, I think I think Animal Crossing New Horizons is going to be a bit more chill than Life is Strange ever would be. And then when it comes to residents, um, I'm going to use these little houses as like resident houses. I think I want like two people living up here with me. They might be my starting residence. Who do you guys want to start with? I think you start with an Uchi townie villager. I call them townies because of the Sims. I think you start with an Uchi villager and you also start with a Jock villager. And honestly, I don't know who I want to start with. I think I had an idea of who I wanted to start with, but I'm not gonna like restart if I don't get them. Like I'm not too fussed about who I start with, but I kind of want to keep them on my island for like as long as possible. I think for the Uchi, I would love Deirdre just because I love the Deers or Fuchsia or Hazel. I know Hazel is like seen as an ugly villager, but I absolutely love Hazel, so. I think I want to start with one of those. Like, one of those I would not be mad about starting with. And then when it comes to jock villagers, let's check out who we have as jock villagers. Um, Bam, he's once lived in my... Oh, I love Axel though as well. He's once lived in my New Leaf town. I've had Bill live in my town before. Bud, I think Bud would be really cool because he would fit with like the island vibe. So I think he would be a good choice. But I love Frobert. Um, I would probably say Bud purely for like how well he'll probably fit into the island theme. And I do want to keep it like tr quite tropical. Although Rudy is cute as well. I don't know. I don't really have... Oh, I love Tad though. Mm. There's actually more jock villagers that I like. Didn't think I would like that many, but I think I think Bud would fit in well. In a dream world, I'd have Bud living here and I'd have um, one of the Uchi characters that I mentioned living up here and then they'd stay up here for like ever with me on our own little part of the island. I don't even know how many villagers you can have. I think you can have like maybe up to eight. I'm not too sure on that. Um, but what else do we have? We have Nook and Able Sisters. We have some bridges. We have the museum. If this is like a piece of land, like the museum could be cool over here. Like if this piece of land actually does exist in the map. Although maybe it could be cool to like have up in the other top corner. Like kind of like a reservation area like this could be the reservation area of the island so maybe like loads of trees around and flowers and then there'd be like loads of bugs hanging around here okay we're gonna place the museum up there for now just because i like that idea and then considering this is like the resident amenities area i can't remember what this is called and i should because even though I've been trying to stay away from as much as possible, I still have watched some videos. So I should be able to tell you what that is called. But I guess the shops should be kind of around here, I guess. Um, or maybe, no, because I want this area to be chill. Maybe the shops can be like over here. Maybe this can be like the town center little island. And then, yeah, I kind of like that idea. So maybe Nook there and then able sisters like quite close by i don't want them to be too far away from each other and then maybe like a villager can live here as well where's where's the villager houses gone here maybe one villager could live around here maybe like a diva character <laughs> I feel like Diva would live here in a little island by herself, close to the shops, never really wanting to leave. Island life, not for her whatsoever. Don't really want people living here. I haven't decided if I want people living near the beach. I mean, I guess our islands are gonna be big enough that even if I do put someone close to the beach, like, you're never gonna see them from, like, this beach or this beach or this beach. This is, like, a little private beach, though. So maybe I'll have people like living down here. 
maybe like a couple of like free spirited animals could be grouped down here a little neighborhood oh i kind of like that idea but this is so empty but that's quite nice because like i said it is a deserted island getaway like you don't want everyone grouped together and the fact that there's like different islands is quite cute you know what i think i am gonna put them on the beach probably not near the airport honestly i live quite near an airport and it's not the best it's really not the most fun so maybe like two houses over here two beachfront properties this is where you like want to live actually this is where you want to live if i lived on this island i mean i do i like where i live but if i were like moving once it was already built this is where i would want to move into i feel like this is like the hills of this island even though it's not in the hills it's the lowland i didn't really explain how this works but like the light green is like the highest area so this is like top tier of the island then you have like your middle tier and these are like cliffs and then you have this is like your base level so luckily you can move buildings even once they've been built so when you guys are watching it you might be like molly your island is not looking how you said it would look but that's because i'm probably not gonna have access to these areas and you have to donate 15 bugs 15 fish and 15 fossils to the museum before you get the museum so that's just gonna be a tent i'll probably place that around this area i also don't know if like the shops are there from the start i could assume that they wouldn't be this is gonna be like a little private beach section which i'm excited to build because like i said you can put any objects around here so building on beaches is gonna be really fun i'm definitely gonna enjoy that i just love that it's tropical Although playing it in winter is going to feel a bit weird because I know that it snows, but like it's not going to feel like a deserted island in winter, I feel like. So I think it could be, it could be a bit strange, but we'll just have to wait and see. Wait till I get my hands on it before I make that decision of how it feels. Okay, that's enough palm trees. We're getting a little, we're getting a little cray cray up in here. Let's plant some trees around. So we're gonna have like little, little groups, little forest areas. Oh, then we also have like the campsite, don't we? Like, isn't this where villagers who don't live on your island can come visit? Say if you have like amiibos and stuff like that. So maybe we'll put that in this little like section over here because it's kind of like introducing you into the island like you have the the residential thing here uh with tom nook to get you started and this is like quite close to town but also quite close to the beach we should probably add some um bridges in so let's do a bridge there and these bridges look weird <laughs> they're not gonna look that weird in the game actually Hmm. let me move this over a little bit let's go there and then we'll add this bridge here to kind of connect you to these houses and then we'll also where do i want this bridge i think i want this bridge there maybe um this isn't the final version don't worry um maybe another bridge there then we need a bridge over here so you're connected you're all connected okay i kind of like that we need a connection over here though uh maybe another one there it looks a bit weird i'm not gonna lie like this is being so empty but i think until the game's released i'm not gonna really know what i want where i want and stuff so this is kind of just a rough plan but i think that's pretty much how i want my island to look i think it looks pretty good i'm just excited from where my house is i want to be near the lighthouse and i want to see all the sea 
around me. I want to feel like I'm on a deserted island. And then if I get two good ones, hopefully I will. Hopefully I'll get two really nice starting villages that I want to keep around me forever. I can also add pathways and stuff as well, but I don't think there's really much point like adding pathways as of right now because I don't know how they're going to work. I think they're probably going to be like quite linear. And to be honest, I don't need to plan all that out right away, but this is... I'm happy with this beginning stepping stone. I did plant a lot of palm trees or coconut trees. So maybe I'll get rid of a few of those. If you guys wanna plan your island, leave a link to them. I don't know if you can, or maybe like send them to me on Twitter. If you do this at English Simmer over on Twitter, I would love to see your plans of your islands. I hope this video was entertaining. I know it was a little bit different. It was pretty much just me geeking out about Animal Crossing, which I'm gonna be doing a lot over the next few weeks. So please do be prepared for that. If you aren't already used to me geeking out over it. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Let me know who you want your starting villagers to be or just any villagers like what villagers are you dying to have in your town because I can't make my mind up I have so many favorite villagers that it's really tough for me to decide like whose amiibo cards I want to buy in case I want to invite them to my island and I can't find them so let me know who your faves are down in the comments below thank you guys so so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.